hello, welcome. Why don't you read this problem and then pause it, give it a shot, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. So let me say and pause it, read it, and then press play. All right, so you read the problem and let's just go over some of the basics. We're looking at an angle, they call it alpha, and they're giving you that it's three pi over 20 radians drawn in standard position and its reference angle is theta. And they want us to see which of these images actually has all of that. So first of all, let's let's kind of pick this question apart here. Let's zoom in. And I'm going to kind of hover over the answer over here. So we have everything written. So first of all, the this is pi over 2 and this is pi radians. And we're looking at 13 pi over 20. So the angle should be between pi over 2 and pi because this fraction is less than pi, right? Think of pi radians as 20 pi over 20, right? That's just pi. And that is bigger than 13 pi over 20. And pi over 2 would be 10 pi over 20, right? That's a half of pi. We're between there. And that's why you see alpha, the angle alpha going like this. Now, the reference angle theta is always some acute angle, so an angle less than 90, between your angle and the x-axis. So it's acute, and it's between the angle and the x-axis, and that's exactly what this is. All right, hope that helped.